Jared Anderson versus Charles Martin, July 1st. Let's talk. Push the weight in your face. Flex the lavish one in the six. Fit the runner boy, you nigga, no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I mean, day walker, drink blood, fangs out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Ross on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. I like this fight. This was just announced a little while ago. I like this fight. I like this fight, man. Where do I begin? Um, Just announced. I'll put the link in the description. It's from Boxing Scene. We got Jared Big Baby Anderson versus Prince Charles Martin, man. That's my guy, man. My guy. I give him a call. Uh, it says here, Jared Anderson will set. He'll he set to face uh, Southpaw, July first. Prince Charles Martin. Just one more accomplished and uh, known American boxer fans. He's 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 well known. Charles Martin's well known. Um, he fought a who's who. Um, still a threat, man. He's a big guy. <laughs> he's a big guy. He's very energetic. I had the pleasure of meeting him at the Barclays. Very energetic. Uh, he fell back in love with the sport. And uh, he's on top of his game, man. And uh, this is a this is a good thing. This is a good step up for Jared. Um, and this is a a, a good fight for uh, Charles Martin because the guy can still scrap, man. Uh, it just says here that uh, they've learned uh, that former IBF heavyweight champion Charles Martin has replaced Zion. I can't even say this guy, Kosu Butsky. I apologize for butchering that name. But whatever, man. Um, as Anderson's opponent in a 10-round main event at ESPN will televise a week from Saturday night in, uh, at, uh, from the Huntington Center in Anderson's hometown of Toledo, Ohio. Martin stepped, he stepped in for, uh, let's just call him Zahn, in approximately 11 days notice because uh, Zahn uh, has difficulty obtaining a visa in time to travel to the United States. Okay. So this is a short notice fight. This is a short notice fight. I just hope that he's been in the gym. I hope he's been in the gym. And I hope he's in shape. Martin mentioned Anderson's name as a dangerous opponent. Uh, he wanted to face during an interview with boxing scene earlier this year. He did say that. He did say that. I might have spoke on that. I don't recall. Uh, uh, though, though he's 37 years old and out of the ring for nine months, a motivated Martin didn't hesitate to face the best young knockout artist in the heavyweight division with less than two weeks to prepare. 23-year-old Anderson has knocked out every opponent he has faced since he turned pro in November of 2019. The six foot four, 247 pound Anderson will take a significant step up in opposition as he meets Martin, who has won a world title and faced much better level of opposition than the 34-year-old, uh, let's try it again, Kozobutsky. Oh man. What a name, man. Let's just call him Zahn. I tried it again. Let's just call him Zahn. That is, that is a mouthful. Pause. The 6'5", 260-pound Martin was supposed to square up against Armenians Gergen, Hovat, Hovansian, all these names. All these names. Let's just call him Gergen. On the uh, Davis vs. Ryan Garcia undercard, April, April 22nd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. But uh, Gergen suffered a rib injury while training however and uh their fight was postponed indefinitely rather than wait for his fight with a lesser known gergen to be rescheduled martin jumped at the opportunity to battle anderson in the emerging contenders hometown now hopefully that means he was supposed to be on the undercard of uh tank versus ryan hopefully he didn't get too bad out of shape because you know the human body is very um strange it takes us a longer time to get into shape and uh, less time <laughs> to get out of shape. You could train for a month doing cardio and calisthenics and proper diet. Oh, the fight's canceled? Fine. And in one week, you can ruin it with cheese doodles and, 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 and hoagies. You know what I mean? It's just, just strange, man. Uh, Las Vegas, Martin knocked out 2004 Olympian, uh, what's his guy's, uh, Devin Vargas. 
fourth round of their last fight, which was a part of the Andy Ruiz Ortiz undercard September 4th at the Crypto uh dot com arena in LA. And this is most uh, most recently stopped unbeaten Bronx native George Arias. Shout out to the Bronx. <laughs> Although we didn't get the win, but shout out to the Bronx. Uh after the third round on the Shakur Stevenson Yoshino undercard April 8th at the Prudential Center, Stevenson's hometown, New York, New Jersey. All right, so that's the article link will be in the description if you care to read it. Uh but here's my thoughts. Um Charles Martin I mean, that's my guy, man. Um, he's a cool dude, very energetic. Uh, he fell back in love with the sport. Um, when I met him in Brooklyn, man, this guy was just happy, man. He was just happy. Um, and we were just talking like we knew each other, man. The, the, the guy's cool. Had him on the show. He's very down to earth. Um, wonderful guy, man. Wonderful guy. I'm happy for him. This is an opportunity. Um, Jared is a, uh, he's on a roll right now, man. Uh, Jared Big Baby Anderson's very, very dangerous, very game. Um, word on the street is he was kicking Tyson Fury's ass, all in sparring. Um, you know, he won't speak on it, but that's the word. Um, until, you know, the, the, the whole team caught COVID and had to postpone the July date till October. Everybody went home because the whole team caught COVID, but they hit him up and said, you got COVID? He said, no. And Joseph Parker, you got COVID? No. And he's at the damn USC event, but you know, you already know the, the details on that. But I digress. Um, Jared is heir to the throne, he's uh the future of the division. Um, he's been brought along quite nicely, uh, he's been uh marketed quite nicely. Um, he's been brought along as far as matchmaking, it seems that way quite nicely. He's beating everybody he's supposed to beat. This is a test right here because uh, Charles Martin is no slouch. Charles Martin is no slouch, man. The, the, the man's a southpaw. The man can fight. The man can fight. Um, he was in the fight against uh, King Kong Ortiz until he got caught. Um, but hey, man, you know, he's a big guy. Uh, uh, he has very good reach. He's very coordinated. He has great footwork. And um, he's a likable personality. Um, he's still dangerous. And um, I'm telling you, he's coming into uh, Jairus' hometown. And I doubt he's coming in to lose. Now, hopefully, again, he's not out of shape because he was supposed to fight on the tank. Uh, uh, Ryan Garcia undercard. And um, his opponent pulled out because of, of a rib injury. And then, the, then uh, you know, Jared's opponent, you know, have, have a visa problem. So he stepped in. Um, how do I see this fight going? I know that Big Baby's going to be, he's going to be the favorite. He's going to be the favorite. I understand that. Um, but I, I, I want you guys to, uh, remember something for those of you that don't know, you can look it up. It's on YouTube. You can Google it, do whatever it is. Uh, Davey Moore versus Roberto Duran in the eighties. Roberto Duran was the old man going into Madison square garden. And, um, Davey Moore was up and coming and he was supposed to box Duran's face in and Duran said, well, hold my beer. Watch this. He beat the crap out of Davey Moore and stopped him. And they celebrated. Um, so Jared's going home to fight. They expected him to win. But Charles Martin ain't coming to lay down. Now, again, here's my disclaimer. This is boxing. You know, is two weeks notice, is he in shape? Hopefully everybody's in shape. Hopefully everybody's in shape. Hopefully Charles Martin, you know, you know, said, okay, I'm not fighting, but, you know, I don't know when, whatever. Hopefully he did enough to stay in, in good cardiovascular shape. And, you know, um, two weeks, is that enough time to get some sparring in to uh, to, to uh, prepare him for, for Jared Anderson? I don't know. Maybe Ring IQ will get him through it. I don't know. But Jared is a beast. Uh, uh, and Charles Martin, is he's going to need all of that skill set. He's the older guy, but he's just as strong. Um, will he ruin uh, Jared Anderson's um, home party? I don't know. It's boxing, though. We've seen weirder stuff. Um, salute to both men. Um, I know that uh, Jared Anderson's the popular pick. But do not count out Charles Martin. So uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Bronx on deck. 